thank you for doing the interview. Thank Would you, you mind introducing yourself, please? My name is Ryan Smith. I'm a wine buyer and sommelier at Enoteca Historia in Los Gatos in the South Bay. Perfect. Um, how do you evaluate the 2010 vintage and which characteristics are the most noticeable? Well, I think the 2010 vintage is a fantastic vintage for American consumers. For me, of all the ones that I tasted tonight, the, the most noticeable characteristic was ripeness. The fruit was beautifully ripe, it was dark, it was lush. It had all of this beautiful berry and savory character to it. It had, of course, Brunello's characteristic uh, with tannin and acidity, which you always uh, associate with, uh, with a wine like Brunello, a classic wine. But at the same time, they're very accessible wines. They're softer than I've ever tasted before. They're cleaner than I've ever tasted before. The length and the, the varietal characteristic of Sangiovese is still there, but at the same time, there's a ripeness and a softness that is really uh, accessible to the American and Californian palate. And I think it's a vintage that is probably better than ever uh, to be appreciated by California consumers. Perfect. What, um, which expectations do you have for this vintage? Well, this vintage, you know, I think it's going to be one that both stands up for the long term and for the near term. Like I said before, it's a clean vintage, so it's a, they're wines that are drinking really, really well in the near term. So anybody that, uh, that grabs a bottle off the shelf, open and it's, opens it up within the next year is going to have a fantastic experience. Of course, the tannin and acidity is going to be fairly elevated, as you would expect from a Brunello. Uh, but it's a wonderful wine to have with steak. I think they will reward aging as well. Uh, but they're more accessible than ever to the consumer, and the prices and the uh, selection in the American market is getting better than ever. Do you think the demand on behalf of the U.S. consumer is changing? If so, in which direction? I do think the demand of the American consumer is changing. They're looking more towards, you know, you see in America in terms of uh, food production, you're seeing more farm to table stuff. So we're looking, in terms of the wine, uh, the wine business, we're looking at things that are more closely associated with the land, uh, a little less consumer based, more focused on grower producer wines. Um, so I think that for Brunello di Montalcino, you know, a wine that has long historical backgrounds from families that are historically uh, associated with the land, I think it, it speaks very well to the, uh, to the possibility of the wines in the future as well. I think Brunello is one of the few old world wines that really, really uh, speaks well to the new world palate, but at the same time associates them with things that are classically Italian. What kind of consumers are those who buy Brunello? I think any type of consumers that would taste Brunello would buy Brunello. You know, Brunello is your classic steakhouse wine. Anybody that loves big California Cabernet, especially those that love the more savory side of California Cabernet, Brunello is a perfect match for them to try something from, from Italy. Uh, the high tannin, the high acidity, the big ripe fruit is just a perfect wine to pair with any sort of red meat. Uh, you know, if you're in a steakhouse, you love the California Cabernet, I think if you were to try a Brunello di Montalcino, almost anybody would be fascinated with this vintage because of that beautiful fruit ripeness and also the incredible length and the food friendliness that it brings. Perfect. Thank you so much for doing the interview. My pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you.